hello and welcome to the very first Kooky Studio Vlog. Um, this has been a very steep learning curve for me uh, and I am still learning um, so please do bear with me. Uh, but here's the first shots of a piece that I was designing and painting for a felt piece that I made so enjoy. So here I am in my sketchbook um, when I have um, got a piece down I tend to use acrylic gouache uh, and pencil generally to get uh, an idea of some colours that I might want to work with. I tend to use acrylic gouache because it's nice and flat and matte and it gives me the, the kind of I uh, idea of a colour that I would like to work with in materials or felt or embroidery. I work with three acrylic gouaches in the main. The first one, the one that I'm using here, is a Liquitex acrylic gouache. I also use Turner Acryl Gouache and the Holbein Acrylic Gouache. So <laughs> all three different variations but all equally as lovely as each other. So today I have been um, making some thank you cards. I always tend to have a go and do this when I feel I haven't got anything to be getting on with for the moment. Uh, these are what I use. They are the Artist Tile Set. I do believe I got them from Amazon. I'm sure I did. And there's 75 of them. You can see I've gone down quite a few. There's 75 in a whole like set. So it's quite a good chunk of them and they're just the right size for something you know to make a, a quick a quick thank you card and i tend to make my own thank you cards one day i will get around to getting an, uh, an order in for some printed ones but for the moment we go with the the handcrafted ones um so just grabbing them from the side these are the ones that i've kind of gone for i did some collage ones the little collage flowers haven't done collage for ages so i thought dig out my papers and just have a little play around so yeah i did put it four collage ones where did that one go there it is so i did four collage ones i did two birds and two flowers oh no no i did more i did three flowers and then these are some gouache ones that I did as well. So lots of gouache birds. But yeah, they just make a really nice, a nice size for a thank you card. And you can use lots of different media with them. So let me just flip this over. 
so create designs with ink pencil pastel watercolor gel pen and more my more would be collage and gouache uh, because that's what i did with mine um but they're nice and thick they you know they're a nice thick card you know they're not they're not thin oops sorry got two there but even so they're not a thin you know like they wouldn't they won't um, take like lots of wet media, I wouldn't imagine. Um, so watercolour, it says, I would imagine uh, not to build up too many layers because it, it's clearly not a watercolour paper. But for something quick and simple, they're a great idea. Check them out. It's always a good day when the postie knocks at your door and hands you a parcel. Well, generally, mostly a good day. Um, it's an even better day when that parcel is from Jackson's Art Supplies. <laughs> uh, yes, I have ordered a few more gouache. I did open this previously because I was too excited not to, but I just thought I would show you the colours that I got. So uh, this is an acrylic gouache blue-green. Uh, I will swatch these out later and see what I've got. But I was lacking in the kind of darker greeny colours. Uh, where's the other acrylic gouache? There it is. And this one is ash blue. Uh, I've seen a lot of people using this colour and fell in love with it. So that went on my list from last time. The others are all Turner acro gouache, which is equally as good, people, and a little bit cheaper. I hate to say than the acrylic gouache. <laughs> I don't hate to say it's great. The Turner acro gouache is. I think they have the same amount in, I do believe they do, and it's that bit cheaper so you get more gouache for your money. So whereas I could buy three um, acrylic gouache, I can probably buy four or five of the Turners, which, you know, all adds up. Anyway, back on to colours. So I got Permanent Green Deep, which looks, looks kind of black in this light, but I will swatch it out later. It's rather lovely. I can hold it up. Yeah, still looks black. Okay. <laughs> Next one is a barrel green. This is beautiful. It looks really nice. So looking forward to trying that one. I have a turquoise blue. Turquoise blue is one of my favourites. I like teal and I like turquoise blue, but I thought I haven't got a turquoise blue in the aqua wash. And the last one I got just by way of a change <laughs> current red this looks super nice it's kind of a pinky red you might not be able to see from this video but it's like a pinky a darker pinky red so there we go okay now i have swatched out the new colors uh, so on this page i have my acrylic gouache and i've got the two new colors that i got there on the bottom row the ash blue and the blue green the light is not so great. Uh, you think so? I'm sat in the window, but yeah. There they are. Um, really nice addition to my acrylic wash set. As you can see, looking over onto the other page, I have more of the Turners. The pastels in the Turners range are beautiful. So I had to get all of those. I think there's 15 in total. Um, and they are on the second row and the third row. The top row are the original colours that I've already had in my stash from Turner. And then over the page, <laughs> see, spot the mistake. Um, the starred one, obviously, I put in there by mistake. But yeah, we've got turquoise blue. These are the new ones that I got. Uh, turquoise blue, permanent green deep and beryl green and current red so yes my little swashy book i have to hold it open now because i've painted on both sides <laughs> Duh. while i'm at it i thought i'd show you these um Sennelier paints that i got in my scrawler box this month um i've had the pouch Sennelier acrylic paint before and i Vaguely remember seeing some weather they did a matte version and now haha -ha, I have three different ones to try out. So I've got um titanium white. This one is indigo blue, which 
I have to tell you is one of my absolute favourites. I love a little bit of indigo blue. Can't even say it. Indigo blue. And this one is a cadmium red deep hue. So we've got a nice selection of colours to, to try there. Uh, I'm interested to see how the matte dries. Um, I'm wondering if it's going to be more like gouache because um, gouache, acrylic gouache is basically an acrylic but it's got a matte finish to it which makes it act more like a traditional gouache so I'm going to try these at some point and uh, I'll report back to you when I've tried it well thank you for joining me and do stop by again soon mm -hmm.